All right, another close of the day. Um, S&P uh, 500 uh, uh, made a, another record high and uh, a higher low. So the trend just continues on the day. Um, not much of a hammer really here, but y considering that the Feds is speaking tomorrow, it doesn't uh, doesn't really bother me. People are just backing away from the market, but I like I like the uh, the move. The momentum looks pretty good on the thirty uh, on the uh, daily charts. So we're moving up. The momentum is bullish, and, and the security is bullish. Um, we just have to see what happens tomorrow. We'll take a look at the sixty and see how it lends itself to uh, the daily. And uh, we'll go with some candlesticks, since most people trade that. And this is uninspiring. I mean, it's just neutral. It's not really doing anything um, that would encourage me to really um, um, get involved. But I'll look at the daily. And, y you know, you have to take all of this with a grain of salt because y uh, the, the Fed decision um, and, uh, more importantly, the comments after the decision are what everybody's focused on. So nobody's making any serious moves right now with that um, looming. Um, so let's just take a quick look at some of the, um, the meme stocks that um, everybody's playing these days. So um, here we go. Um, Blackberry on the daily, really not doing anything. Um, you could argue that this is a bear flag. It's not a very encouraging bear flag. The bars are kind of choppy and shows a lot of indecision. Um, but it did trigger, took a test of this pivot low, and then traded back. Um, the bear flag doesn't fail until the 1477. Um, if, the, if, if, if a bear move fails, um, it's very likely that it turns to a bullish move. So, yeah, you know, the failing of that bear flag may be the catalyst to uh, move that up. If the bear flag continues, because, yeah, you know, as of tomorrow, um, the open or as of this moment, it's still a valid flag, may um, possibly push down. And let's see if um, the 60-minute lends itself to that move. Um, and um, yeah, the 60 minutes kind of flat. Actually, um, yeah, you know, the, the, the momentum's turning around a little bit, and you could argue that it's turning a little bit positive. Yeah, you know, you could see that double bottom right here, and this low um, has more momentum than this low. So it could uh, make the turn, but you won't argue that, um, that, that, that trend reversal is happening until it breaks that 1475, which also is where that flag fails. So um, that could be interesting. You can keep an eye on this if anybody has an interest in BB, and that might be the catalyst to move it up. Um, and let's have another uh, have a look at uh, close. I think I guess we could do it without my sound effects, eh? And this is just uninspiring. Um, this this is a uh, solid bear flag here's the retracement and this flag triggers um, at 1360 um, and I don't think we quite hit it today um, the low is 1368 kind of bounced off of it um, and uh, you know setups don't really have follow through when people are are um, kind of apprehensive because the feds are out there so that could have been what held it back or it could turn around and take off um, if it triggers I mean you could expect this thing to go down and fill this gap and uh, the 60 minute, um, see what, if that lends to uh, our premise, our hypothesis. Um, yeah, the 60 minutes just flat. I mean, I wouldn't even draw a trend line here. It's so dragged out that, uh, y you know, you could just hold that, call that a channel and uh, see which way it breaks on the channel. Um, y you know, the momentum's flat and maybe fair favoring a bearish move but um, we'll see what happens at the open again y you know all of this is taken with a grain of salt because what are we worried about the fed that's what we're looking at and then finally amc what is amc doing i i know that it opened up with uh, some some good momentum okay so i wouldn't really call this a hangman um, get, you know, that's a, a fairly decent tail to the downside. And it looks like it took the initiative and broke, broke this resistance right here, which is encourage, encouraging. You really don't want to see it trade back and close below a resistance break. But again, what are the factors we're taking into account? I'll say it again, the Fed. Okay, so I guess everybody does a shot every time I say the Fed. But um, I'd say that um, this didn't show the follow through because the Feds are involved. Um, we, it, 
really have to look at what we do tomorrow. And we could argue that this is a higher low on the momentum and it's just going to push up. Um, so we'll, we'll see if everybody um, is encouraged. And, and it may just chop around tomorrow until after 2 o'clock when we get the decision. And then maybe after that, because what's more important tomorrow are the comments going forward than the decision. We know they're not um, jacking the interest rates um, tomorrow. So um, what everybody's really looking at is whether they're going to talk about um, um, backing off on asset purchases um, and, and what hits. And y you know what? The street is kind of convinced that they're going to make some suggestion that they're thinking about backing off on asset pur purchases. But, um, um, I, y you know, nothing's going to happen for months and months and months, and they'll see where the economy is at that time. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's just see what the 60 is telling us um, about the, the daily. And this is just burdensome. I'm not too crazy about the uh, 60. Um, it, it, it's ri rounding out. It's making a lower low. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, you could you, you could argue that this is an upward move and this is developed a head and shoulders and you put a trend line in right over here and um, if it breaks that trend line it could start to pull back but that doesn't mean that the uh, the, 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 the position is falling apart or or that the reason for buying it has changed or anything it's just a simple technical um, and and based on um, what's looming out there take your shot the Fed um, yeah, you know, there's n just no follow through on any move. So, yeah, you know, these things happen. Um, yeah, you know, and if it came back and filled in this gap, what's the big deal? The 49. But um, I bet it bounces off this a little bit uh, tomorrow and then maybe makes that move up. And really, this baby isn't going to get going and people aren't going to be afraid of the buying power and start closing their shorts until you break this high. When you break this high, I mean, that's a good trading indicator to go long, this security. You, you know, just forget about the meme, forget about the nonsense and everything. You, you, you know, you see something come back and break the high. If it has momentum, you're going to want to take a long right there. So, um, yeah, that's going to make the shorts nervous. I mean, I know um, that they were holding this gap as a saving grace. And it's just looking less and less probable that um, we're going to fill that gap. So, so um, people are going to start thinking about um, mitigating their loss and then maybe fading this when it starts making a double top after a good run. So um, anyway, uh, I hope everybody's protecting their downside um, and uh, you, you know don't don't take on more risk than you can handle, as, um, and that will lend to a good night's sleep. So I wish you all that and thanks for stopping by. If you like my content, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. And tell your friends.